Hello everyone! Uh, once again, it has been a little while, I apologize. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I am Katia with Lunar Sun Creations, and um, I've been traveling for a while, that's why you haven't seen me. I've been in Africa for a few months volunteering at a few different projects. Um, I'm back in Canada now, and uh, the first thing I wanted to show you was an album that I actually made before I left. It is a custom album. It was a zoo-inspired album, but it could also work as a safari album, which I thought was perfect since I just got back from Africa. And um, it's following, it's what inspired, actually, the Rainbow um, album tutorial. And the Rainbow album tutorial is available in my Etsy shop if you want to go check that out. And there's also a video on YouTube for it. So I just wanted to show you how different an album could look just by using the same tutorial, but using different papers. And it just creates it's a whole different, a whole different look. So uh, I will show you this album, and I am working on another tutorial, a new one, and it should be done. I don't think it's going to be done for Christmas, though. I'm not going to have time for that, but it will be done uh, first thing in the new year, and as well as some more travel videos from my trip, and uh, lots of good things to come. I'm back on track again. Okay, I hope you enjoy it, and there'll be more from me soon. Hugs. Okay, so here is the Zoo album. I'm sorry, there's a little bit of a glare from my lights, but hopefully you can see it. On the front it says, Majestic Animal Kingdom. And then I've got this uh, um, textured paper on the spine, and then an elephant on the back. On the side closure I've got this cool latch closure, and it opens up like this, and I did it so that this part, there's magnets under this part, so it magnets and then you close it so there's extra support, and you open it up, and the client had requested that on the front cover I have an expandable accordion pocket, so you can see there there's tons of room for photos. And then on the first page, so this is a massive belly band. It says, how's the view up there? And this opens up for pictures and journaling. And then this opens up. And up again, it's hard to see. And then there's a pocket in here with a little baby tiger. Just blank on the inside. And then down here, these two have little um, pull tab th latch things. <laughs> However you say them, however you call them. And, <laughs> and then this opens up to the sides. And then this opens down. There's a large picture of a tiger there. And that closes back up. And then the next pages. So this one here, this opens up to the side and the side, so for some long, long skinny pictures. Um, but then there's a pull tab here because this opens like that, and that opens like that. So there's little spots here for these to rest on, so that it's kind of like a they both sit up like that, which I thought was quite cool. And then the top one kind of folds underneath the bottom one. And then this whole thing opens up. There's a really cute chimpanzee there just chilling. And then this is a pocket here. And then these two flaps open and open again. I left them blank because they're a great size for photos. Didn't want to add too much bulk. And then the photo... <laughs> Hi, Zuri! Surprise! <laughs> the camera's on, so you have to come visit, huh? <laughs> the next page... Um, buddy, you're in the way. You gotta move, Pump. Oh, go mirror Hansel. Okay, on the next page, this is a magnetic swing tab. And that opens to the side and up. 
and then this opens to the side and this opens to the side again and then there's two swing tabs here and this lifts up and down sorry it's the same print down here it's hard to see but it's the same print and then there's a little metal embellishment just to show that this opens and it's magnetized and that opens to the side and then these open up and down and I left them blank on purpose because they're a perfect 4x6 Okay, and then on the next set of pages, now we're moving into the zebra zone. So, we've got a swing tab here, and that's magnetized, opens to the side, and then this opens, it's like a trifold. And then I wanted a space for both horizontal and vertical pictures, so I kind of did an alternating waterfall, but doing horizontal and vertical. So it's kind of a different take on the waterfall, like that. And then they all magnetize back down, and this covers them all up. On the next page, there's a swing tab here, and it's magnetized, and it opens to the side. And then this opens to the side, and there's a pocket here, I have to get a tag in there, I just realized. And then on this side, there's a little um, latch, um, I'm not sure what you call these latches, but it goes around this bead, and this opens to the side, and there's an elephant over here, and then this opens up. And then this one goes down. And then the whole thing opens to the side. And then there's another flap in the center here. Okay. Close this back up. And then on these pages, so uh, this says zoo at the top here, and both of these lift up to reveal some peacock paper, and then they also both go like that, so they kind of do a little bit of an easel kind of thing there, and then it opens up to the top. I think that's it for that page, yep. And then on this side, we've got a metal latch here, and it opens up, and this one opens to the side, and to the side again. And then this one opens to the top, and to the side. Elephant there. And then this opens that side and then this whole thing opens to the top and then on the last pages so this is the reptile kind of page so this opens to the side it's a big alligator or crocodile I'm not sure which one that is <laughs> and then this opens to the side, and then this. I've left all these pieces blank because I didn't want it to get too bulky once you had the photos, but when you pull it, oh, it's going to be hard to see with just the black. It's pretty cool, though. So that is that, so they can put pictures on every one of those. And that's it for that page, because I didn't want it to get too crazy, because it's an accordion over here. Alright, and then just blank on the back page for pictures. So, I think it turned out really well. I'm really happy with some of the page designs in, in this one.
and hopefully the client will also love it and and put all their zoo pictures in there. I guess they've been to five zoos apparently in the last few months. So, um, yeah. All right, and there it is. There will be a tutorial coming for this album, but I will be using a different paper collection. I just haven't decided what paper collection yet. Well, by the time you watch this video, I probably already have the tutorial out, so you will probably already know what paper collection I'm using. <laughs> but at the time of recording, I have no idea. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Big hugs. Thanks for your support. Love you. Meow.